What's up guys, in today's video I'm going to reveal how much money I've made since I first started posting YouTube videos back in 2020 and I'm also going to reveal just how quickly things have changed during the first three months of 2020. I'll share with you guys my full YouTube earnings with complete transparency which in total is about six different income streams which I've managed to obtain just from posting YouTube videos. Now my overall aim for this video is for it to be insightful, educational and also somewhat a little bit inspiring for all of you guys who are aspiring finance YouTube content creators. But before I jump into those full earnings guys, my name is Mitch. I post all kinds of videos on investing and the stock market. If you do enjoy content like that, hit that big red subscribe button down below as well. Drop a like on the video guys. Really, really helps out the channel. With that being said, let's dive straight into it. Now for context, there are a couple of different metrics which actually calculate the ad revenue in which you obtain. The first of those metrics is something called RPM, also known as revenue per mile. Now the revenue per mile is a calculation of how much I've earned per 1000 views, which comes from things like YouTube premium, memberships, super chat and super stickers. Now for me personally, I believe all of my RPM is more than likely from all of the viewers who are signed up to YouTube premium rather than any other of the revenue types. Then you have something called CPM, which is a little bit similar to RPM, but instead it stands for cost per mile. And in essence, it's how much advertisers are prepared to pay per thousand monetized playbacks. So the YouTube business model is pretty straightforward. In essence, the more views in which you get, typically the more money in which you make. Now to add to that, typically finance channels also garner higher levels of RPM as well as CPM than some of the other YouTube channel genres out there. Now to talk you guys through about how much money I've actually been making from YouTube let me also put it into a little bit of perspective as well and we'll actually break it down not just in terms of the full amount of money in which I've made but also how much money I've actually made per hour for all of the time in which I've spent actually putting into those videos so let's cut straight to it during 2020 I made in total 129 videos which got uploaded on the channel now also bearing in mind it took me up until June to actually just get monetized which meant that I needed 1,000 subscribers on the channel as well as 4,000 hours in watch time and after that point in time I made an estimated total ad revenue of 4,316 pounds and 24 pence now I probably spend not an average roughly four hours in total per video in which I actually produce and that's everything from doing all of the research to the scripting to obviously recording as well along with all of the editing in the back end creating the thumbnails right in the descriptions and eventually actually uploading the video onto the channel so on average, I made £33.48 per video, which was the equivalent to £8.37 per hour. Now, I'm sure some of you guys probably wouldn't even get out of bed for that amount of hourly rate because the national minimum wage is £8.91 per hour currently. So during 2020, I actually earned less than minimum wage from all of my work in which I put into YouTube. But that didn't stop me because I was inspired by the videos in which I was making. I was encouraged and motivated from all of you guys who have been supporting the channel, commenting in the videos. I've also been inspired by the fact that I've been growing this channel month in, month out. We're now at over 20,000 subscribers on the channel. And I can't thank you guys enough for all of the support in which you've given me. And obviously, because of all of this encouragement, things really have taken a turn for the better during 2021. Because in the first three months of this year alone, I have made just off YouTube a grand total of 14 £1,350, which is an average of about £4,783 per month. Or from the 41 videos in which I've made, the equivalent to £350 per video or £87.50 per hour. And this is just the start for me and this channel, but let's take a look back and actually see how I got here. Now, in order to actually fully appreciate just how much things have scaled in such a short period of time in 2021, it's wise to look back at 2020 and dive a little bit deeper deeper into those earnings. So as I said, during 2020, my full year's worth of work actually accumulated to a grand total of £4,316 in ad revenue. And as of the first three months in 2021, I have made just from ad revenue alone six thousand. 506 pounds. Now the one thing about the YouTube ad revenue model is that it massively fluctuates depending on the amount of views in which you're getting on your channel. So in January I made 2,775 pounds and 15 pence. In February I made 2,247 pounds and 16 pence 
and in March I made £1,410.35. Now obviously on the basis of those ad revenue figures, January and February were big months for viewership on the channel, with March certainly taking a little bit of a dip. With 241,000 views in January, 200,000 views in February, and during March the channel only had 107,000 views. Now during January and February, ad revenue was consistently high, making over 70 to 80 pound on average per day, with it certainly dropping off throughout the course of March. And so far during 2020, the most money in which I've ever made on a single day in terms of ad revenue was 160 pounds and 63 pence. Now what gives me real motivation here is that I know that the channel has the capability to generate 160 pounds per day just in ad revenue based on the peak numbers in which the channel has received so far. But when you multiply that number by 365 days in a year, that's the equivalent to just shy of 60,000 pounds in total just from ad revenue, which is only 50% of the total revenue story. As I said at the top of the video, I have six main income streams just from YouTube with YouTube ad revenue only being one of them. So let's dive into those other five income streams in a little bit more detail. So the second income stream in which I have is from free shares. Now you guys know how it is by now, every single time that one of you guys use my trading two on two or my free trade affiliate link, which you'll find down in the description of the videos, not only do you guys get a free share, but I get a free share as well. Due to this, I've had roughly 700 free shares since the start of this year, which has netted me off in January 4,973 pounds and eight pence. In February, I made 799 pounds and four pence. And in March, I made 1,003 pounds and 24 pence. With January obviously being the peak month for new signups on these brokerage accounts for many, many different reasons. But since then, unfortunately, trading two on two have recently closed their applications. And due to this, I haven't been able to make just as much money as I did in January throughout the course of February or March. Nonetheless, this has massively helped me personally build my overall investment portfolio. And with the free shares in which I've had, I've largely sold most of them, but reinvested back into the investment portfolio and the shares in which I want to invest in long term. The third revenue stream is from Coinbase referrals, whereby if you guys use, again, the links down in the description and sign up to Coinbase and deposit £100, you'll get $10 worth of free Bitcoin. The result of this being when I do it in a pound amount in terms of the amount of money that's been invested into Bitcoin due to the referrals I've made in total from January, 14 pounds and 61 pence in february i made 121 pounds and 55 pence and in march i made 43 pounds and 20 pence now obviously all of that money is held in bitcoin obviously i haven't sold any of the bitcoin and i'm hoping that that money will go up in value over the course of the next few years revenue stream number four is from my patreon which is whereby you guys can support me as a content creator and also gain access to my investment portfolio trackers and all of my excel documents too so in terms of earnings during january i made 59 pounds and 83 pence in february i made 92 pounds and 42 pence and in march i made 77 pounds and 89 pence Revenue streams five and six, I'm going to wrap all into one because it does include sponsorships and the money in which I've been paid from sponsors. And I'm not too sure whether I can disclose the amounts I've been paid. So because of that, it'll include everything from sponsorships, any other affiliate links in which I make money from, as well as my Amazon Associates account as well. So to give you guys the totals, in January, I made £50.41. pence. In February, I made £73.02. And, and in March, I made £611 in total. So they are my six income streams, all from YouTube ad revenue. And it's also probably worthwhile chucking in here that I do have a seventh source of income from my full-time nine-to-five job. So hopefully this shows you guys what can be achieved whilst also working a full-time nine to five job five days a week and actually just working on YouTube in your spare time. And to give you guys a little bit of an insight into kind of what a typical day for me looks like in terms of actually getting these videos out and kind of prioritizing and doing all of my time management, I will get up early. I will probably work between 7 to 7.30 to at least 8.30 in order to do some preparation for my YouTube videos. And then I will record in the evening 
and sometimes not even stop working on YouTube until kind of nine or 10 o'clock at night. So it's a lot of work that goes in, obviously alongside my normal working week as well, but it's well worth the rewards and well worth all of the effort that goes into this channel. And to be honest, guys, I think we're just getting started. So to summarize, to give you guys the full scope of the picture, in January, my total earnings were 7,874 pounds. In February, 3,332 pounds. And in March, 3,144 pounds for a grand total of £14,350. And I know I've said this already, guys, but I just wanted to finish the video off by saying a genuine thank you to all of you who have been watching the video, who have subscribed to the channel, who like the videos, comment on the videos. Really, really does mean a lot, and it allows me to grow this channel and potentially reach more people along the way. So I hope you found the video insightful and educational, guys. If you did enjoy the video, be sure to drop a like on it. Subscribe to the channel if you're new around here. And with that being said, see you over in the next video.